Hi everybody, Margaret here. Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide in painting these white outline flowers. It's a perfect gift for Mother's Day, to show a friend or staff how much you appreciate them, or just for yourself to decorate your room. Here's what you'll need. A blank canvas. About five paints in your favorite colors. Two shades of green paint. A lot of paintbrushes. This makes it easier to switch between colors. A glass of water to clean your brushes. And paper towels to dry them off. You will also need a fine tipped white paint pen. Here are some palettes for you to be inspired by. A palette is a collection of colors that look good together. See what looks best with your favorite colors or try something new. Our first step is to paint the flowers. These can be any shape you like, but it's best to have a flower design in mind already when you paint them. You want the shapes to be as round as possible. Avoid straight lines and angles. Make them all different sizes and shapes. You can let some overlap each other or keep them separate. Once they're all dry, it's time to paint the leaves. You can put leaves near the flower petals or paint some vines across the canvas. These are a great filler for parts of your canvas where there's no flowers. Use both colors to give it more detail. Once the leaves are dry, it's time to clean up all the lines. You want your lines to be very clean and your colors to be very opaque. This will make the next step much easier. Once all the paint is completely dry, it's time to add the white lines. The paint has to be 100% dry for this next step to work, so be patient. We're going to draw the details of the flowers with a white paint pen. You can do this however you like. Look at pictures of real flowers or artistic drawings. Be creative and find inspiration anywhere. Here's a couple designs I did. Start with a small spiral in the center and draw a U shape underneath. Then draw tiny squiggly lines going from the center outwards. This was inspired by a marigold. Another design is inspired by a daisy. Draw a small circle in the middle and fill it with dots. Then draw lots of thin petals coming out of the circle. To make this poppy inspired flower, start with some fat petals. Add some spirals to the center and more petals at the top. Add some lines to create the folds of the petals and add details. Our last flower is an oleander. Place a large circle in the middle and add waves to it. Draw an outline for each petal and a fold at the top. Then add details to each petal. Don't forget to add details to the leaves as well. I outlined mine and added the vein to the leaves. These are just some ideas. Get creative and come up with new ones. To finish off the painting, I painted the border red and then I added a metallic color on top. Many metallic paints are very thin. It helps to paint a similar color underneath it first to make it pop. And there we have it, an easy way to show someone in your life how much you care about them. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms, grandmothers, aunts, sisters, and caregivers out there. 